Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. Now, being someone that owns a multi GPU setup, I am fortunate to have a CPU with 8 cores and 16 threads. But it got me thinking how would my cards perform if they had only 4 cores? So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, first, I want to do is take you through to my BIOS. So, you can see the method I use to disable my cores. So, I'm using an Intel i7 5960X. The first thing I want to do is take you through to my CPU features. So as you can see, you can see core 0 all the way down to core 7. So that's 8 cores which are active. First thing I want to do is disable hyper-threading. And now I'm going to proceed to disable 4 cores. So I'll start with core 7 and work my way up to core 4. So now that I've disabled 4 cores and hyper-threading is disabled, that is the 5960X running with just 4 cores enabled. So this is just some confirmation of what I've just done. If you look in at my CPU cores and threads, you can see I've got 8 and 16. This is where my, my PC is at default. Now looking at it with the cores disabled and hyper-threading disabled, you can see I've got 4 cores and 4 threads. So that's confirmation of the actual cores I'm using. Here are my settings for those who are interested. I'll be using free games for this test. I'll be using Crisis Free. The Witcher 3 and finally Rise of the Tomb Raider. Crisis 3 and The Witcher 3 can be very CPU intensive in certain areas and that should give the 4 cores um, a run for its money but what I will be doing is using Tomb Raider because it's not the best multi GPU optimized game and it can be a little bit CPU intensive in some areas as well. Now I will be testing all games at 1440p just to make sure not all games are completely GPU bound and it will still have enough so it's not going to be bottlenecking the GTX 1080s to a point where the tests are completely useless so let's get into it and see how we do Scanning sector 1 Delta Should be enough. Come on. Warning. IMS detonation detected in sector one, Delta Four. Honor in the fatherland. Oh. Oh. Mm.
So some very interesting results there. As you can see in the Witcher 3, the 8 core 16 thread CPU was definitely doing a much better job than the 4 core CPU. So as you can see, 107 frames per second on average, while the 4 cores got 89 frames per second on average. So that's quite a considerable difference in performance. So looking at Crisis 3, 122 frames per second on average with the 8 core 16 thread CPU while just the 4 core CPU was only able to manage 83 frames per second on average so it definitely will be holding back your CPU if you're planning to run a setup in SLI with um, cards of the performance of the GTX 1080 or there and thereabouts so it's something to consider. Rise of the Tomb Raider was an interesting one though um, there was no difference in performance between the two cards I mean the minimums were a bit better with the 8 cores and 16 threads but in general both CPUs manage to average 102 frames a second on average so that's great so it's not all doom and gloom if you do have an i5 or let's just say an Athlon um, CPU or something like that then you should be able to get away with SLI or Crossfire but just bear in mind there are games that will require um, a bit more CPU headroom so maybe worth considering a 6 core or an 8 core CPU and even an i7 with hyper threading when you're going multi GPU solution so that's pretty much it for me guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching so